In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily add icons to your website and how you can control their styling site-wide or globally using Web Studio's design tokens. Jumping into the builder, we're going to first add a new box. and We'll call this box icon. This will be the box that we use to style our icons globally. Inside of that, we're going to then add a HTML embed, which I'll just call icon SVG. And this is where the icon code will live. Next, we need to go and select an icon. Now, I like using a website called Icon Buddy. It's essentially the Google search of icons and will filter through all the different open source icon libraries to find what you're looking for. In this case, let's just search for a fire icon. Once you've found one that you like, go ahead and click on it and then click on the copy button. From there, we're going to jump back into Web Studio and under our icon SVG code, I'm just going to paste in that copied code. Now, this will add the icon, but I wanna make a quick change to this code to make sure that I can control all of the properties from that parent box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width and height to both be 100%. Once that's done, we're then going to go and select our icon box. And I'm going to give this box a new design token, which I'll just call icon. This is the token that we're going to use to manage the styling of all of our icons site-wide. From here, I can now control the width or height of my icon as we set those properties to be 100% in the HTML code. And I can also change the color of my icon by switching out its typography color. Now, once you've styled the icon the way you want it, everything else that has that same icon design token will inherit the same styles, even though they're different icons. I'll give you a quick preview of this. Let's just duplicate our icon using Command or Control D. Then we're going to add a different icon inside of that. Let's say we add a star. This one here looks fine. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, jump back. and Under that new icon, I'll drop in a new icon code. Once again, I'm just gonna switch out the width and height to be 100%. Jumping back to my icon token, you can see if I make a change now, that will be applied to all other icons that use the same token. Same thing goes for the sizing. If I wanted to update the width of one token, it will also update the other icon that has that token. But what if you wanted to change the style of just one icon, but keep your globally controlled design system? You can do that too by simply styling the local token. Let me show you. I'm going to quickly duplicate these icons so we've got a couple more. And let's just say this middle star, I wanted it to be bigger and of a different color. So I'm going to select it, make sure that I have that parent box selected. I'm then going to change the width and I'm going to change the color. And you'll see that these are only being applied to this one and that's because it's being styled on the local token. If I wanted to still control all of my global styles, I can then select the icon token. I was to say change this width, once again, we'll update the width of all of my icons, keep the overrides that I've applied to my local token. And that is how you can easily add icons to your Web Studio website and control their styling globally using design tokens. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable notifications to stay up to date on the latest of all things Web Studio. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one.